But watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. And make full proof of your ministry. Whatever you teach us, be able to prove. Sure, it's some things in the scriptures that we know about, but if it got too much gray in it, we ain't going to keep it. We can say, well, it really seems like it's going to be that way. But if we don't got enough scriptures to bag it up, we simply won't keep it. Now, the book that said what? Prove your ministry, right? You got to prove. You know, you, you it can't be nothing in the way. That's got to be straight. We we see in the scriptures today the seventh day of the Sabbath. We can show you that all through the scriptures. Can't be disputed. Can it? We know that Jesus died on the Passover. We can show you that all through the scriptures. Can't be disputed. But if I throw something out there with a little gray in, that gives place for the enemy because he see a crack in that word, and he would misuse. That's how Satan works. Always giving you half truth. Always. And that's what his ministers do. Give you half truth. They agree that Jesus died, but they don't get the days right. right. And we're going to look at that stuff. Uh, let's go a little further. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Because if a man of God is standing before you, this is what he's going to do. Ecclesiastes 12 and 9. You know, you call yourself a man of God. Well, why don't you give him God's word? If you are a man of God, give them God's word. That's what a man of God is going to do, eh? Ecclesiastes 12 and 9. Ecclesiastes 12 and 9. When you get there, brother, go ahead and read. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. See, a wise preacher don't give you knowledge, sisters and brothers going to give you some knowledge. Inform you of what you need to do. Inform you of what you need to do. Go ahead and read. Yeah, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. Uh-huh. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words. Acceptable words. Go ahead and read. And that which was written was upright. That which was what? That was written mm -hmm. and was upright. It has to be written, sisters and brothers. If you can't find it in the scriptures, don't deal with it. Go ahead and read. Even words of truth. Even words of truth. What are the words of truth? God's word. Go ahead and read. The words of the wise are as gold. Uh-huh. As nails fastened by the masters of assembly. Uh-huh. Which are given from one shepherd. What shepherd is that? None other than Jesus. That's the one shepherd. Mm -hmm. If the gospel ain't coming from Jesus, it, it doesn't make I don't deal with it. Because he is the true shepherd. Go ahead and read. And further, by these, my son, be admonished. Uh huh. Of making many books, there is no end. Uh huh. And much study is the weariness of the flesh. And you got these brothers that read all these different kinds of books, trying to prove the Bible. No, just let the Bible prove the book. If it don't line up with the Bible, I don't deal with it. Because only one thing is sure, and that is the Word of God. You know, I always ask, where did you get your information from? Go ahead and suck it. Boy, I, can't, I still can't get on that Judas book. That Judas book. Where did you get this from? If you didn't find it to the four, it's back in the fourth century. Because Jesus was dead and gone, wasn't he? Israel had got cast out of the land and everything. So Israel didn't write it. And the Lord said, hey, I'll, I'm only working through Israel. Only way you got this word of God is through Israel. No other way. Every book, every author, every name in that Bible, every author is an Israelite. But that is the protocol of God. Not because they was a better nation or anything. That's the way God chose it, right? right? Go ahead and read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Go ahead. Fear God and keep his command. This is all the Lord wants y'all to do, sisters and brothers. For us to do is to fear him. Fear your God. When you fear him, you're going to do what he say, and you ain't going to let nothing in the way of Because you don't want the repercussions that you're going to get if you sin against God. Right. And the more you start reading, the more you know you got to keep the commandments of God. Go ahead and read. But this is the whole duty of man. That's good. Now, let's go see. Because this day, you know, he, uh, he taught him wisdom. The wise preacher, right? So let's see where the wise preacher get his information from. What makes him wise? And what makes him give you knowledge? Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy the fourth chapter. I always like going here, especially for uh, people who are new here. Let them understand God's word is good from the old to the new. You know, because the Holy Scriptures is the Old Testament, sisters and brothers. 
The whole plan of God is in the Old Testament. The New Testament testifies to what the Old Testament was written in the Old Testament. It's just prophecy being fulfilled. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. When you get there, brother, go ahead and read. Behold. Behold. I have taught you statutes and judgment. The Lord taught us these statutes and judgment. He told us to keep these statutes and judgment. And it is beneficial to you because this is what what it would make you. Go ahead and read. Even as the Lord my God commanded me uh-huh. that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. Uh-huh. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. This is your wisdom and understanding. So if a preacher got any sort of knowledge, he's coming with the word of God. Right. He's coming out of his law. Because I'm telling you, they don't come with this law, sisters and brothers. They ain't got no light in it. We know the New Testament and the Old Testament, but we're going to let the Bible tell you this. Because like I say, my words ain't going to prophesy nothing. We're going to see what the word of God says. Let's go to, uh, finish reading that though, brother. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And that goes to this day, sisters and brothers. You keep that law and command. I don't care. People might not like you. They probably don't want to like what you say and what you do. But every time they have a question concerning the Bible, they come to you. Because they know you understand this word. They let me know they know I we dealing with the truth. They always come to you with the words like the brother came to me. Will you tell them that he says pagan? Yeah, he says pagan. <laughs> you just told him what was Jim coming from me. You know it's research. But then the brother said, Well, I don't have to research it. You know, I say, How do you know yours too? Because it's the word of God. I deal with the Bible. I say, Well, show me where you get all this stuff from. Research. But that's what the problem is. A lot of people refuse to research what they're doing because they're afraid they're going to find out what they're doing is wrong. They are. They, they ain't going to no, I don't have to research it. You deal with it where you want to deal with it, and I'm going to deal with it the way I'm going to deal with it. Now give me my ball. Walk away. All right. Let's go a little further. Let's go to Isaiah the 8th chapter because, like I just said, I said they don't have to come with the Old Testament and the New Testament. And that's what the Word of God says. Isaiah 8 and 16. Isaiah 8 and 16. Isaiah 8 and 16. Because they got to come with the Old Testament. They go hand in hand, sisters and brothers. Like I, like I always say, there's only one book that you start in the middle of. One book. You can't come with no half story. Can't do nothing but a lie. That's all you can do with half the truth. You gotta have to put your words in there somewhere or another. Isaiah eight and six. Go ahead and read. And this you you gonna know that this is prophecy right here. Go ahead and read. Line up the testimony. What is the testimony? It is the New Testament, right? Go ahead and read. And seal the law among my disciples. And now he's talking to the disciples, right? Followers of God. What did he say? What did he say? Bind up the testimony and the, and the law among my disciples. Because if they don't come with both of these, hey, this is what's happening. Skip on down to verse six, uh, 20 and read. To the law and to the testimony. To the law and the testimony. With the old and the new. Go ahead and read. If they speak not according to this word. If they don't speak according to this word. Go ahead and read. It is because there is no light in them. It is because there is no light in them. In other words, there is no truth in them. Because this light is the word of God. It is the word of truth, right? So if they don't come with both of them, it ain't no truth with them. For the brothers to deal with the Old Testament all the time, if you don't believe in Jesus, you ain't going to make it. I don't care how much you say uh, I can pray to my God. I don't need no sacrifice no more. But you're going to be getting your sins, and the wages of sin is death. And for the New Testament, hey, if you don't come, if you don't deal with the law, you don't know what's right and what's wrong. You And what is the wages of sin? Lake of fire. So that's why you got to come with both of It tells you how to live. Let's go a little further. Let's go to uh, Isaiah, the 28th chapter. Because if he don't, he gonna, the, the minister, he's going to come with the old and the new. Right. And this is how he's going to bring it to you. He ain't going to just quote one script or two. And if you get three out of them, he's he doing real good. You know what I'm saying? 